Hey, we're back to Undertale. Um, oh, I guess I still got to do this puzzle. Where am I supposed to go again? Up. No, these are the puzzle rooms, but I, I think they're already solved. So I think I'm supposed to go to the right, which I just messed up on. And now I'm in a loop. There we go. Yeah, this is the room I was supposed to open. 35 left. I, I gotta do more slaughtering here soon, but I guess let's take care of Muffet first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. Not most humans, but I might. Yeah, that character would. I heard... that they have some awful taste. <laughs> what a shame. A human comes through and they aren't even fit to be eaten. Oh well, rotten ingredients can always be discarded. Now, I've heard there's a secret way to win this fight by eating a spider donut. But I don't know if it'll work as I'm genocide. We'll see. You get the spider donut, which you use next time. Huh? Where did you get that? Did you steal it? Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do with thieves. Oh. Huh? A telegram for the spiders in the ruins. Yeah, it skips right to this part. It's an easy way to beat her. They say that even if you are a hyper violent murderer, you never laid a single finger on a spider. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. Oh, now you will later. The person who spider. heard me about you. They really had no idea what they were talking about. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. Yeah, I would never hurt a spider. Frying pan! Oh, oh, it's a little spider come and die. Mom? Mommy? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They really make you feel guilty for this crap. You won! <laughs> Oh, so that trick works. That's depressing. Uh, I should see if enemies spawn here. I, I need to find some point where, where I kill all these guys. I think up here is the MTT, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... That leads to the core, I believe. So we, we should we should take care of these hotland enemies. And this is where Sans invited me to dinner, but he's uh, not going to. I don't think he's going to. But like nobody came and stuff. <laughs> So this is two points stronger than my frying pan, but it doesn't make my healing items do better. That's just a better armor, though, than what I have. So cool. I have a cowboy hat and a... Uh, frying pan. And a frying pan. Best of weapons and armor. Oh, I was showing, hoping it would like change the sprite. Give me a, give me a cowboy hat. Okay, I'm pretty sure the only thing beyond here is the core. So I've got to fight the hotland enemies like here. If they spawn here, I don't know if they spawn here. I might have to go into an earlier area to get them to spawn. And there's a lot of them apparently. Don't I still have like 30 something encounters? Hmm. 
I'll wait for about 10 seconds. If nothing spawns here, I'll, I'll try going to an earlier area. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty sure this just goes to Metaton's dungeon. Oh my. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's very, the layout of places is so different. Like, because mm -hmm. I mean, they're the same, but then you know what they're for. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I could see it being a really interesting experience doing genocide first and then pacifist, or the way I'm doing a pacifist first and then genocide. See, that's why I said, you know, like, doing genocide first must be a very disappointing experience because you're going through these levels and you're like, oh yeah, there must be a purpose for all this. And you never get to experience the fun stuff. You yeah. Know? And so then you, like, put down the game and you're like, well, that was a boring game. I mean, there was some cool stuff, but why would I play it again, right? I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. That's why you probably should play Pacifist first if you play this. Um, everyone I've, I've read from says that you should play Pacifist first. Mm -hmm. If you want, like, the full experience of the game. Right. Well, I guess the other thing, too, just something I've read up on, apparently... After you've done a genocide run of the game, uh, the endings all change. Oh, really? Yeah. And they're never the same again. So, if you do a genocide run first, you'll never see the the way the pacifist ending is actually supposed to work. Oh, okay. So then you could play pacifist again and see how the ending works, right? Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm very curious. Would you do it just to see what happens le next? Oh, sure, but I probably wouldn't record it. Mm. Now, did we counter enemy, any enemies out here, or was it not until we got past the lab? I think it wasn't until we got past the lab, but I think this next area is going to be my grind spot. Okay... I'm pretty sure I saw enemies. Did I see them here or was it not until up here? Gosh, I don't remember now. Oh, there we go. I'll just keep riding these conveyor belts to, to like, run into enemies. But I never got to... This frying pan is crazy. Yeah, this looks like a good spot to grind because I can just ride in these conveyor belts. I wonder, do I even have to put in any button input, or can I just like let my character rest there and wait till an encounter happens? I don't know. Who <laughs> texting? Oh, JT. About comic stuff? Mm mm. About our let's play? Nope. What about? About how frustrating it is when sick people don't prevent the spread of their illness. Oh, sorry. No, I'm you're not joking. the case. You're, you're really good. You cover your mouth, you wash your hands, you, you know, you do the right thing in terms of habits. I just, I'm around a lot of people that don't have good hygiene Yeah, the people habits. at your workplace, from what you've told me, they're not so good. Yeah, you know, just walk around coughing all over everyone. I've been bothering to cover their hands. Yeah, stuff like that. Just. Yo, know, I never learned how to dodge that attack. Yay. But no, there's a reason why I pop airborne all the time, even though I think it's probably a placebo. <laughs> yeah. Airborne works fine for me. For me, it works fine too. Like, I do get sick, but I don't get bad enough that I spread a lot of stuff, you know? Mm hmm. Which is fine. So sometimes, and I noticed this um, in the first playthrough too, if you accidentally wind up in a spot where you where there is no floor, these invisible floor tiles appear below your feet. Weird. Yeah, it's just kind of a fail safe, I think, mm -hmm. in the programming. 
Because it happened to me on that puzzle we got stuck on um, when we were first going through the hot land. You know, we haven't even met Dr. Alphys. I wonder if we will. Is she going to appear after we fight Metaton? I don't know. Do we still fight Met I think we still fight Metaton. Oh, yeah. We probably do. Even though he ran away. <laughs> But I never got to. I don't know why that's kind of comedic to me. Mm -hmm. But but I never got to. Boo. I don't know how many are left, but I mean, when there's none left, it'll just say, "But nobody came," you know. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of enemies here. I think it's because everyone's rushing to evacuate. Maybe. Do, 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 do. This song is really cool when it's sped up. It's your reward for doing good things. Yeah to hear good music all the time. <laughs> I bet that was intentional. Probably. Maybe. Well, I think it's more that, like, slowing it down and making it all creepy was intentional. You that, know what I mean? That, yeah. It's very, it's actually, it's a really, it's creepy, but it's a really cool effect. Like, it's creepy in a good way. The rare and threatening Double Davis. I mean, like, when you... Like, fight enemies and stuff, you don't get to listen to the music as much either. And there's, like, really good music. Oh, I finally got to dodge this move! You move through the orange! Mm-hmm. Yeah! Turn around if there's any other enemies that appear around here. There's the ropes, there's the planes, there's the Vulcans... Is that everything? Maybe. Man, I wonder why there's so many of them, though, here. Because they're rushing to get out, like you said? Mm-hmm. I never even encountered a Double Davis when I was uh, doing the uh, pacifist route. Mm We need it. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep, there's still more enemies. But I never got to. You're hurt. I'll help. Well, you didn't hurt me. His, his death sound makes me really sad. Yeah. Like, the Cylinder Plane one is kind of funny. <laughs> the Vulcan one, they just... I only yeah. wanted to help! <coughs> da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. There's another plane flying over us. Is it a Cylinder Plane? Maybe. What if you looked outside, you saw a real airplane flying around and had a hat on like that? <sighs> I'd probably try to go to bed and see if I'd wake up in my real world. <laughs> I think I had some dreams reminiscent of that last night. Really? Yeah! We've been playing, um... Because the time we're recording this, we've only had our Nintendo Switch for a few days. So I had, I had a dream last night I was in the world of Breath of the Wild. Oh, of nice. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah, because you've played that more than I have. Have I? Yeah, I guess I... Well, I don't know. Well, you've gotten further than I have. I've gotten further than you, <laughs> but you might have logged more hours than I have, because you've been doing more exploring in the areas available to you, where yeah. I've been putting an emphasis on, like, going tower to tower to flesh out my maps. I mean, you've done more recipes than me, and more, like, you found more items that I missed. I've probably done more dungeons, too. Yes, yeah, so I think you've done more, um... What are they called again? 
Shrines. Shrines, yeah. So... I've accomplished... I'm not going to count the tutorial ones. I've accomplished... Four or five of them in the first area you go to. Beyond the first four? Yeah. So nine in total. Because, like, I haven't even met Impa yet. Right. Because I keep getting distracted, like, from Don't spoil cores. that Impa's in the game. Oh, That would be the shit. biggest surprising thing in Legend of Zelda ever for Impa to be in the game. Oh, God, no. Impa is a character that's in almost every single Zelda game. Yeah. Whatevs. <laughs> I'll spoil all the things. Well, I mean, by the time this video goes up, it'll be, like, months later. Oh, yes, yeah, so everyone would know Because by the time that we're recording this, we haven't uploaded a single Undertale episode. Not even from the, the Pacifist run. Mm -hmm. And I'm planning on, on taking a break between the Pacifist and Genocide runs to upload something else. So it'll be a long time before this video goes up. Mm -hmm. I better heal, because I don't want to accidentally die and then have to, like, re-kill a bunch of these things I've already killed. That would suck. Yeah, it would. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> oh. I can one-shot these guys if I do my attack good. Which, that wasn't good enough. Oh, it was? Huh. Um, uh, I'll eat my last cinnamon bun. There we go, that's pretty good. So, do I just have an infinite supply of those types of healing items? Because I can always just go to those stores and the shopkeepers are gone. I mean, on one hand, that's really cool, but on the other hand, those healing items aren't as effective anymore with the amount of HP you have. You need the ones from, like, MTT, so, like, maybe that place is better stocked. I wonder if I have to additionally kill enemies in the core, or if Hotland and the core count as the same thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe I won't fight any of the core enemies. Maybe I won't get to see, like, Magic or Night Knight or Final Froggit. I have no clue. Oh, this episode's been going on a little too long. Um, I'm going to go save, and I'll meet you guys back here. Bye.